tell you, a lot of people that I've run across would rather use rest than soap. Just because it's uh, easier. Let's be honest. It's easier to utilize because your client data and you can do XML or JSON for your file format to and from the server. Um, some I've seen will allow both SOAP or REST connecting to a, a server via API, but most will choose between one or the other because they ha it's different configurations on your server to allow SOAP or to allow a REST API. So we, we talk about EDI and API and, and all those various things uh, throughout data communication or data integration, uh, whichever way you want to look at it. So API is actually a communication to an external server to transfer data in a particular file format. In Monk's API, there's two differences. There's utilizing SOAP or REST. SOAP, you're looking at yourself being the client. You have the data. So you're going to go data plus the SOAP standard when you're transferring file information in XML. So the file format needs to be in XML that goes to the server or from the server, comes from the server. It's going to be in XML. So usually that's for high amounts of data, um, high protocol or configuration with security and those type of things. Um, um, so a SOAP API, REST API. On our next slide, what you'll see here is we go in and we talk about the differences. So differences, think of it this way, is you have SOAP here on your left hand side, you have REST here on your right hand side. As you can see, um, one of the big differences that a lot of people utilize is JavaScript can call SOAP, but it is difficult to implement. Easy to call from JavaScript. So a lot of different uh, EDI solutions and different providers and different things that are out there right now with data integration, a lot of them actually do use JavaScript. So REST, JavaScript, it's great. Another thing here is performance. So performance is not great compared to REST. The reason being is because, remember, you have that SOAP uh, standard that has to be utilized. In here, your performance is a lot better compared to SOAP because it's less CPU intensive. It's less to learn the code. It's easier. It's simpler. Um, so as you can see here, and you get, again, up here, you, with REST, you can use XML or JSON for your file format. SOAP, guess what? You have to use XML. Um, I have seen people use SOAP and they've uh, combined SOAP with an EDI file format. Um, it's not very often because then that's e API with, a, uh, with EDI file formats. Um, you know, who would have thought? But anyway, so I wanted to just give you some comparables uh, between and a little bit further understanding as to API. API connect, uh, communication to a server can utilize either SOAP or REST depending on that server and how they have it configured. Um, you're going to find you want to learn uh, REST because SOAP, again, I don't find that a lot of people use the SOAP for the SOAP standards and, and it's more labor intensive for learning and those type of things. And as you can see, it does not return human readable results, whereas REST gives you human readable XML, plain XML and JSON. Um, that's my quick little breakdown on API. Um, if you need to learn more, feel free to reach out to us and I will make sure that you get all the information you need. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you.